PTAE is the primo element for South Carolina. We do all of the pre mode training, all the task conditions and standards that meet the criteria for NGB to send soldiers overseas. But we take it a step further and go into other training and try to utilize adaptability training and other forms of training that we bring in that a lot of AAR comments and stuff is brought out in the training. PTE, why is it so important? It's important for the um, units to come in and train on the level one skill, level task that consists of the 15 and 6 for the war test and battle drills to stay proficient in their duties when they get deployed. By doing all that training, it's like I said, skill level one. Everybody has to do it in the first go through base training. Once you got base training, it's been some years, people forget about it. So coming through here, they get trained up on all that stuff they went through again. It's getting proficient in what they're doing. PTAE to me is not just for pre mode but we could do training with units throughout the year. So we're constantly on ready. So we wouldn't have to worry about if their unit is deployed, they'll have a lot of their training already done. We can validate the state as far as overall preparedness and readiness. I feel it enhances all the units uh, awareness, situation awareness, and it brightens their horizons as they deploy on these uh, deployments. A lot of guys in these units that come through have never been deployed. They don't know what they're getting into. You have senior mem members that have been deployed once or twice, and that's where we play a vital role, providing them vital information and tactics and skills to uh, actually help them go across seas and uh, successfully make it back to their families. I think PTA is, has become the, uh, the premier training uh, unit in the country, even compares to active duty training. We have taken the state and skill level one training wise, we have elevated the training and the uh, knowledge in the state to where all the soldiers here are well above the skill level one area. And we've done a lot of the ADT training and special training out here, like with the Air Force and with MARSOC and the 75th Rangers, and we've made kind of a state training unit here that's second to none anywhere. And the way we always look at this is we have to think of these people deploying as if they were our sons and daughters. So everybody here puts their heart and soul into it to make sure they get the best training possible prior to going to combat. So that's PTA. A lot of us have sunk our lives into this, and it means a lot to us. So that's training for us. Been with the uh, PTA program since we started it in 2006, and uh, I think we provided a, uh, a way for units to get quality training, preparing for pre-mobilization. We're able to provide the units with access to a lot of things that they don't normally get. We have a lot of contacts with MET teams, but also we have highly trained soldiers who provide training to the units that uh, normally would not be available to them. PTA has played a major role in making our deploying units a better, more qualified unit as well as the individual soldier to perform the necessary task to support our nation during a time of war. I am Sergeant Major Ralph Dorner and I am the NCOIC of the Pre-Mobilization Training Assistance Element here at McCready Training Center. And our mission is to conduct pre-mobilization training for units that have been sourced for missions either in homeland security or for combat operations overseas. We do uh, individual certifications for soldiers prior to getting to the MOB station where they will conduct their collective training tasks before they deploy to their area of operations.